Good afternoon. I'm Marie Saavedra. And I'm Erica Sargent. Heartbreaking and should never have happened. That's how police are describing a brutal attack on an Edgewater mother and her 11 year old son. An attack the young boy did not survive. His accused killer now charged. A man who was released from prison only hours before the crime. Our Tara Molina is live for us at police headquarters pressing for answers about the mother's past pleas for help in Tara. We have learned that the 11 year old died protecting his mother. Maria and Erica protecting his pregnant mother who we're told is expected to be OK. Police tell us this man has a long history of violence and this woman has a long history of trying to protect herself from him. Remembering 11 year old Jaden Perkins, a straight A student here at Pierce Elementary. He loved sports and theater and was known for his infectious laugh. The memorial outside his home growing by the hour. His love for his mother captured in much more than this photograph. According to Chicago police, he was killed Wednesday morning protecting his mother from the man that entered their home in front of his five year old brother. Stabbed in the chest, his pregnant mother stabbed repeatedly and rushed to the hospital with critical injuries. We're told she's expected to recover and so is the baby. Their neighbors heard screaming and called for help. According to police, they were leaving their home to head to school when Crosetti Brand forced his way into their home. Police were able to track the 37 year old down within hours of the stabbing. Crosetti Brand is now charged with first degree murder, attempted first degree murder, armed robbery, home invasion and domestic battery. In court today, family members of the boy police say Brand killed, charged at him, trying to get through the court barriers to get to him. They had to be escorted out of the courtroom and the building. We found Brand has a violent history. The woman he's accused of stabbing, whose son he's accused of killing, has a long history of trying to protect herself from him after dating him more than 15 years ago. Brand violated orders of protection in place by the woman he stabbed on three separate occasions, with the first order of protection in place back in 2005. Brand served more than eight years for aggravated domestic battery and home invasion. He was paroled this past October, but he started threatening the woman he ended up stabbing, showing up at her home. He was sent back to prison in February. Brand was just released the day before this incident after an emergency order of protection was denied by a judge. This incident highlights the importance of staying on top of domestic violence. So how are police and the state's attorney's office doing that? And did they fail in this case? And there are questions that need to be examined and truthfully answered so that we can prevent something like this from happening in the future. Today, state's attorney Kim Fox said despite the emergency order of protection being denied, there was already a lifetime order of protection in place. Advocates and legal experts we talked to are not sure what Fox means by this and have not come across such an order before. Court records obtained by CBS2 investigators do not reflect that. We're waiting for clarification. This is horrific and we need to do an evaluation, particularly in this case and others to ensure that there were no gaps in the justice system that will allow for a dangerous offender to commit the acts that he did. The support fund for this family has raised more than $27,000 and it's only been open for the past couple of hours. We have more information on that in this story online and we'll be back with more for you at six o'clock. For now, reporting live outside Chicago Police Headquarters, I'm Tara Molina. CBS 2 News. See you then, Tara. Thank you. The CBS 2 investigators are also deeply into this case, uncovering failures in the system that left that young boy dead and his mother hurt. Our Megan Hickey is putting together her story on this right now. That special investigation also coming up on the CBS 2 News at 6.